Hey, there it is. You don't want to hear us anyway. You just want to see us play. Anyway, <laughs> as I was saying before, I'm Josh. I'm Heather. From the Molten People. And we're going to play Wingspan tonight. I'm not going to go through uh, all the stuff that I said a minute ago. I'm just start going through this one here. Um, as you can see, but not here, you got some nice wooden dice. And a little dice, a birdhouse dice tower that they give you to put together. And a nice tray for the cards. And uh, oh, we didn't get out our goals. Tried to get most of everything set up. And then we'll go through it. So what you're going to be trying to do is, is play different cards from your hand out here onto the board. And you have uh, three different types. Do you remember? Mm -hmm. There's the the woodland trees, the grasslands, and the water birds and wetlands. Wetlands, and um, so you got different types of birds that play into different areas. Some of them play into multiple areas, and this is uh, sort of a little engine builder. Um, when you play a bird, all right. So on your turn, you're going to be able to either play a bird card from your hand out into one of these rows or gain food, lay eggs, or draw bird cards. So to play a bird, you just put one of your little cubes up here, if this is the area you're going in, to just show that that's where you're gonna play. And then you're gonna play um, one of these bird cards. Let's just grab this guy here, the uh, Swanson's Hawk, I think is what it says, Swainson's Hawk. Anyway, um, so he can be played into the grasslands and right below it if you can see there is a type of food this guy takes uh, invertebrates and mice so if i was to play this here i would have to pay i'm just going to steal them out of here an invertebrate and a mice or back into the supply and then i could play this card here so that is playing a bird, and it's the same way for each one. Now once you get to the next level, you can see up here the little eggs. So if I was going to play another grassland, I would have to pay the normal food that I would for the bird plus an egg. And we'll show you how to get eggs in a minute. And the same way as you go, it gets a little bit more expensive. And then to gain food, you just place your cube here, and you get to pick one die from the dice tray here and you get whatever is on its face up so if you wanted a rat you can take a rat or the berries the invertebrates or the grain and that's going to give you your resources to play more bird cards and as you can see as you go further along this track it gets more and more powerful so let's just grab one of these out of here that is a tree so if I had this here and then I went to gain food my next turn, I would place my cube here. I would get um, one of the cubes from the tray. And then if I paid a card out of my hand, I could take another one of the dice and get another food. And then once you do that, you also get to move this back to here. And if this bird card here has a brown ability, then that activates that ability and you get to do it. And all the different birds have different abilities. Um, I'm not going to go over all of them, but we'll have a lot of them come up during the game. And we'll explain those as they come up. And then um, you move it over here and then you're done. So the further out you go, like say you're out to here, you're going to gain your stuff here. Then you're going to activate, 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 go. So the more you get in a line, you're building an engine and the more stuff you're going to get from it. And that's the same for all of them. So that's gaining food. Um, let's take them back up here. When you lay eggs, if you go in the first one, you're going to lay two eggs. And I guess I should have kept those cards. Um, you're going to see each card, each bird card has a, this is the victory point that it's going to be worth at the end of the game. This is the nest type, and then it has the amount of eggs that you can have on the card. So, um, this guy, let's say this guy's here. I go here, I get to lay two eggs. I can grab two eggs and put them on this guy and have them there. And I just kind of hold on the card 
and that's for you know spending here and you're gonna have other stuff that you spend eggs for so that's another resource um, that you're gonna use is eggs and then that works the same way the further out you go the better stuff you get and as you go back you're gonna activate the other cards you have there and then the waterfowl down here the wetlands that is where you're gonna draw cards so when you start to run out of cards you're gonna come down here you can get one card here too and then it works the same way so you're just trying to build a little engine of you know getting food putting birds getting eggs and you have um, I think there's eight eight you have eight cubes so in the first round everybody's gonna get eight actions when we get to the second round you're gonna have less and less so the the further you get into the game the less actions you're gonna have in a round but they're usually way more powerful and the reason you're gonna have less is because of this board right here um, this is your goals that you're um, going towards each round and right now we have it on the like the non-competitive side <laughs> um, pretty much uh, whatever these little tiles which there's a bunch of them so it has a lot of replayability there um, whatever that tile says like this one is um, for every egg you have in a specific nest you're gonna get one point now if you play on the competitive side you can see here the first place person is going to get four points, the second place is one, then zero, then zero. And then as you go further in the rounds, it's worth more and more points. So we haven't played on that side yet because we're still learning the game. And I would do it, but Heather didn't want to. Mm. So I should go through these. In round one, um, what type of nest is that? Do you have the nests out? That is... Um... Or is it on this one? It's on mine here. It actually that is the cavity. teaches you cavity? Yes. So in this in round one, you're gonna score one bonus point for every egg in a cavity nest at the end of the round. In round two, I uh, will just go over the other rounds when we get there. So at the end of the round, you're gonna take one of your cubes and you're gonna put it for however many if you have three eggs in a cavity, you put it on three, and then at the end of the game you're gonna get three points for that. And that's how you lose your cubes so that you have less and less each round. And that's pretty much it. You just try to score the most victory points. Um, there are a couple other rules about um, tucking cards and stuff that we'll get to when we uh, when it comes up. But So to start out, everybody gets dealt five cards. Um, you get one of each resource, which I'm going to grab now. So you have five cards and five resources. Now for every one of these cards you want to keep, you have to pay a resource so you can start with five cards in your hand but you're not gonna have any food or you can start with one card in your hand and you're gonna get four food so you have to kind of balance what you want to do and then you're also gonna have shh, don't tell Heather what these are you're gonna have a couple of uh, goals that you're working towards and um, so you want to keep those in mind as you're building birds um, you want to talk for a minute yeah. let me go see what's going on so I'll be right back. Heather's going to show you what her goals are. <clears throat> okay. Sounds like we have a child emergency. So um, these are my two goals. I have a choice between being a cartographer, which that means that I get points for every bird that has a geographical term in its name, um, like American, Atlantic, Baltimore, California, Canada, Carolina, that kind of thing. And other one is the backyard birder, which is birds worth less than four points. Um, if I look at my starting hand right here, all my birds in my starting hand are over four points, so that wouldn't be very lucrative to me at all. And I tend to try to get out the bigger birds anyways, so I am not going to take that one and I am going to take the other one. Let's smell the bathroom. Yeah. <laughs> I told Alex to stay downstairs. We, we had a bathroom situation. <laughs> All right. Um, I found it. Pooping on cars? What do you got? Yeah, you pooping on cars. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So that's about um, 
the basic stuff there um, we're gonna get started so we both have our five cards our goals I haven't looked at mine yet what are we putting those cards mm, we put them over there more. I don't have any room over here it's a little cramped until we get our table done Ooh. All right. Let me see what kind of crap. No, I already forgot what my goal is. <laughs> I I don't like games that have, well, I mean, I like them still, but games that have goals that you get and put to the side, I always forget what the heck my goal was until about halfway through the game. And yes, Jason, this game is super easy to find. <laughs> I actually left out and about burst out into tears when I got it, so... Let's just say our FGLS is amazing. Uh, ben said nice shirt. Oh, yes. Shout out. Oh, gosh. <laughs> i got to watch what buttons I push on this thing. <clears throat> and I also want to plug Masterminds right now. Um, they put a lot of blood, sweat, and tears into their new escape room, the Dinosaur Island Room. You guys need to, if you're in the area, you need to stop there and go through. We had a lot of fun this weekend. I wouldn't go through it until he finishes my table. <laughs> Here's my discards. <laughs> so I don't know. I wasn't really paying attention because that's what I do. But I don't know if he said. But for every bird that you keep, you've got to oh, discard God, a resource. All right. So you want to go first since you have the yes, I'll go first, first player token. Nice little first player token. So... Um, I am going to take a resource and I will take Oops. let me know. When okay, you grab it. fine. And I'm gonna take the grain. Alright, and a and this just scoots over like this. And I'm gonna build a bird. <laughs> build a build bird. A bird. It's like build a bear. No, it's the build a bear because they want everything. Lizzie, how do you do this Actually, without see. looking at Derek's hand all the time? I don't know which one I want to build. Or bird. <laughs> which one I want to build. Um, actually. Ah, oh, dang it. Oh, wait, yeah. All right, I'm going to play this guy here, the ruby crowned, crowned kinglet. And his ability says, when played, play a second bird into your uh, forest area and pay its normal cost. So I'm going to pay berry for him and I'm gonna pay a invertebrate for the American Robin it's already winning Ooh. yeah I'm trying not to look <laughs> at your cards well, you could just look down I was hey Ben Eric Monica Brian Paige oops I forgot to put what I'm doing so I'm building a bird. Thanks for coming out. We're going to try to start streaming um, at the minimum every Monday. Something new. But I do have a few games that we got in in the last week or so that I'd like to get streamed. You done then? Mm -hmm. We're also thinking about doing something special with Link and the kids. Maybe like Sunday afternoons or something. Play some of the... Um, games geared to younger kids because you don't really see that a lot and there's a lot of good games for kids out there our uh, one thing is getting quickly out of hand again yeah um one thing I did forget to say is when you're gonna take resources from the birdhouse out here if there's only one type left so say it was these here if there's only one type left you can choose to take one of those, or you can choose to re-roll all of them, and then you have to take whatever the new one is. Not there yet, but I do get to take two. So I'll do this, and I'm gonna go take this. Build a bird. Oh, and you have to keep your tokens, your food, so the other player can see it. You can't hide your food. Now the Robin says, when activated, tuck a card from your hand behind this bird. If you do, draw a card. Robins um, don't eat other birds. Um, it's just empty. It's still going over there. So I get to draw. 
My turn? Yep. Alright. I'm gonna go here and I'm just gonna re roll all the dice. Nice. I love that sound. What? This is exactly some, what I needed. Some of everything there. Can't complain about getting everything. And I'm going to take Go Indians. Um the grain again. They were winning when we started streaming. Hopefully they won. And I'm not going to discard another card to take another. But when activated all players gain one grain from the supply. Sweet. There we go. All right, I am going to lay some eggs. I'm going to make them robin eggs because robin eggs are beautiful. And again, I think he said when um, the sound was off, the egg colors don't mean anything. They're just pretty. Yeah, Heather likes trying to match the egg colors to what the colors of the birds are. Mm -hmm. I yeah, normally like me. putting opposite ones there just I to mess with to them. Get some eggs before I do that. So I imagine that they probably have nice and cute eggs. And I'm going to play another bird. The Cooper's Hawk. Oh, I didn't grab that rat. Never mind. <laughs> Forget that I had that Cooper's Hawk. You do that Cooper's Hawk. I am going to take some resources. I'm going to grab this rat. And I'll grab another one just in case. Invertebrate. And then I get to tuck a card from my hand under there, which I'm not going to do. And... Okay, now I am going to attract in another bird. This is Stellar's J. I like saying build. I like building my birds. And it takes two green and then one of any other resource. And one of. All right, now I'm going to build a bird. And I'm going to do this Cooper's Hawk which costs a rat and an egg. And that's how I got that done. Okay. And Hi, Kevin. Thanks for stopping in. I'm going to draw. Oh, remember what we didn't do? Oh, crap. Yeah, you're supposed to have three cards out there. To choose from which would have made it a lot nicer when I drew <laughs> um, nobody else drew yet so it just really messed me up so but yeah you have three cards out here face up and you can either draw from the face up or you can draw from the top of the deck which we're using this side as the top of the deck and then this is gonna be underneath it um, yeah I forgot to do that earlier okay your turn oh wait what are we supposed to be working toward I don't have any of those. Um, eggs in crevices or whatever I was saying. Cavities. That's oh. close. Eggs in the crevasse. I'm going to draw a card because I don't have any cards. And I'm going to take this one. So as you can see, each card has um, a nest style. And this one has a star. The stars are wild, so you can use them for any any nest. Oh, I was going to read my cards and it came back. Face up. Uh oh. Uh oh. Heather went after all the owls. Uh oh. Yes. Was it, did we play yesterday? Yeah. Yesterday when we played. No, Saturday. All of it was not together. Yeah. So. Yeah, I'm going to grab that. And you should take the owl. Oh. She's still on the bottom. All right, now the pink. I just 
got one of these. The pink are between turns, so um, one time when it's not your turn. And two players, it just means when it's the other person's turn. So this one reads, um, when another player takes gain food action, if they gain any number of um, mice, also gain one mouse from the supply and cash it to this card. So anytime anybody gets mice, you would get a mouse too. Neat. Um, I kind of need more cards. But this, ah, oh, crap. Always something in your way. So I'm going to make do some more eggs. Put one here. Well, it's my last turn. I'm gonna need some resources, so I guess I get what's in there. You get both. Well, well, you. Mm -hmm. I want the mouse. All right. And that leaves the one. So then you just re-roll them, please. And I am going to. Oh. Oh. What? Gain one green from mm -hmm. any bird feeder if available. You may cash it on this card. So Which one do you want? I want the that one. Just one. Like that. And all players get one green. And I am going to go here, which I forgot last time. I was thinking out here. If I'm going down here in the wetlands, I still put my uh, cube up here so I don't have to pay the extra fee. I forgot about that, and that's why I went and made eggs. But I'm going to play this guy to the wetlands for an invertebrate. I'm done. So that's the end of round one. <laughs> and neither of us have anything any points so we both take a cube and put it on zero and then we wipe right mm -hmm. so we wipe these cards up here and place three new <coughs> and then pass the first player token and we go. I am going to go here. I'm going to draw a card. And um, when you do draw cards from these, you do not replace them until your whole turn is over. So you don't draw one, replace it, and then the one that was green. So this one we need birds and trees, which I got a good start there. Mm -hmm. Hmm. I'm going to go with this Harrier, Northern Harrier. Put that in my hand, and then I'm going to pay an egg. Let's take another one. And I'm going to take the House Finch, which we have in the backyard. And then I'm going to go here. Um, when activated, tuck a card from your hand behind this card if you do draw a card. So. Mm. I'll go ahead and tuck that finch over here. And when you tuck cards, you just place them face down under here. It doesn't matter what they say. Um, and then at the end of the game, you're going to get one point for each tuck card. I guess we should have went over end game scoring. At the end of the game, you're going to score points for your bonuses over here. You're going to score points for the birds that you've attracted. And then you're going to score points for tucked birds and is the thing over there eggs so for every egg you still have out for every bird you have tucked and for any um, food you have cached which we don't have oh yeah you do have one here so this one um, lets you cache food onto the card so for every one of those she has at the end of the game she's going to get a point too all right so i get to draw a card did i draw my second one no
I was trying to find some sweet bird sounds to have playing in the background, but I had a track meet to go to and my daughter was running. I didn't didn't have the time to get in early. <gasps> it's a tufted, a tufted tit titmouse. You done? Mm-hmm. Oh, mm, I have a lot of food. I am going to. Oh, I have no more food. Oh, God. Oh, wait. The, the other thing, too. When you play a bird, this is the only time you can do it, is when you're playing a bird. You can turn in two resources, uh, two of any resource, to equal one of any other resource. Forgot about that. So that's going to let me. Place this here. I'm going to play this Northern Harrier. I'm going to play a two grain. And that equals one rat. And his um, special ability is when activated, look at a top card from the deck. If the wingspan is under 75 centimeters, tuck it under this card. So he's a predator. Oh. Last game we had, I got a, a hawk out in the first round, and I just tuck the cards under there like crazy. I am going to take the invertebrate and rat berry. Then I am going to take the grain. And then I'll give everybody game to grain. Hey, some fish. Finally. Fish. I'm going to go ahead and play this. Plus me one egg and two of any resources. And I am done. All right. I am going to call in another bird. Eric said there's four birds in the room um, next to me and four more chickens in the backyard. I love birds. I'm going to play that Baltimore Ariel. Oriole. Ariel. Ariel. Okay. All right, um, I'm going to make some eggs, and um, none of them really matter for this round, but the next round, I'm going to, and this is just between turns, and then this one is activated, so I get to look at the top card, and its wingspan is under 75, so he gets tucked under here, and he gets eaten by my area, if I can get it under there. You got it. This is just the ah, there we go. It's the only thing that isn't the greatest in this game is trying to get the cards tucked under sometimes. <clears throat> okay. So I am going to take two of those fish. Tall players gain a berry. I'm going to take one of those green. I'm going to take the wormy one. All players gain a green. I'm thanks, helpful. Thanks for all the free resources. Thanks for all the fish. Did I what? close my two? No. Okay. Sorry. Okay, and my fish did it too. Um, I need cards. I'm out of cards. Oh, I forgot about this. See, I always forget. Well, that is terrible. <laughs> I always forget about secret objectives. So anyway, I'm going to go here. I'm going to draw a card. I'm going to take the titmouse. And I'll pay an egg. Draw again. And I'll take one off the top. Oh, sweet. That's another bird we have in the backyard. I'm not showing it to you. And then I tuck a card from my hand behind this one. And if I do draw another card, and then refill this, Mississippi Cat. Okay. But you can learn, if you like birds, this is a great game because it has all kinds of cool birds and it has some facts. 
if you just like to learn facts, there's, like I said before, there's like this for the tufted titmouse. It says, titmice are key in the formation of mixed species flocks. Did not know that. I am going to go there and I'm going to pay two grand to equal one mouse and another mouse. I can play it better. To slay my predator. Um, barn owls use their excellent hearing to catch prey in the dark and will cache surplus for later. And they throw up little. And they throw up neat little pellets. We dissect and That school. Lincoln dissected at the bird sanctuary. Oh, yes, he did. <laughs> It's All another right. great place if you're in the area. Visit our bird sanctuary, sanctuary over in Mansfield. It's a very fun place. It's free. I'm going to go in here and make some more eggs. So I get three. And I have those four for next time. Those are three. Here, because that counts as any hen. And then what do you do? Look oh, at the top card. Then you look at the top card. It's you under 75. Oh, 74. Just enough. My hard harrier ate a woodpecker. Poor little woodpecker. And we're just creating all kinds of birds. Yeah, Eric, it's, it's a fun game. It's a good engine builder as you start getting your birds out and start getting better and better turns and start comboing up all of these um, abilities that you get to activate, it's it's pretty cool. I'm gonna play this American White Pelican. Pelicans sure. work together to herd fish and then scoop them up. You sure you don't wanna make eggs? I'm sure I wanna make eggs. Are you done then? Mm-hmm. Last turn this round. I'm going to go for the points. So I'm going to go up here. I'm going to play my Tufted Titmouse. And he costs either an invertebrate, a grain, or a berry. So I'm going to play the berry and two eggs. I'm going to fill up this guy. And that's that. What's his? It's a, oh, it's a win played. Yep. Play a second bird in your four. I don't have a second bird for my forest. Okay. And then. For my last turn, I'm going to go here. Give me the eggs. I'm going to take that. You don't even have any eggs. You need some eggs. I'm going to put up that warbler. All right, and so that's... And then when activated, discard a fish to top two from this spell. I don't have a fish. So we collect our cubes back. What's that? Egg you doing up there? No, I think I put that up there. That's what I did. I put that up there instead of moving my cube <laughs> to create that Oriole. All right, so yeah, that's why you didn't have the egg. Yeah. So now in round two, you get birds in the forest area. I have four. I have three. And then we discard these. Refill. Ooh, cowbird. And pass the first player back to you. Stupid cowbird. And just to show you, there's a an appendix here that comes along with it that's really nice. It's like linen coated. And it has um, a quick reference for setting up all everything you do. It has um, detailed round. info on end of round goals and then on pretty much every well, on every card there is so you have every bonus for every bird power that there is so that's pretty neat and it's like I said it's linen coated it's real good quality All right. but what would you expect from stone Meyer games okay what is it that you want me to make eggs or no reason Alright, so I'm going to go here and I'm going to play, let's see, I know what I do. 
So our round three bonus, just so you know, is um, eggs and which one's that one? Um, ground? No, Na platform. Platform. So for every egg you have in a platform style nest, you're going to get one point. But you, uh, have <laughs> you do have a wild up there, though. But I am going to play an extra. Just give me an extra egg. Because that has an egg right there. Okay. And then when activated, I take these. Roll them. And I did not succeed, so you get nothing. Nothing. See, my... Um, black billed magpie here says um, once in between turns when another player's predator action succeeds I get to gain one resource from the bird feeder but she didn't succeed all right so my turn yes <clears throat> I'm gonna go ahead and make a bird Be one egg and two of one two resources equals a fish and play Clark's Grebe. I can't believe I've fancy. made it through this whole game so far without doing a bird as the word joke. That's what we should have had playing in the background. No. The whole time just mm. bah, 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 bah. Mm, no. Alright. It would have been fantastic. It would not have been fantastic. So what do I need in my turn? I need to I'm gonna take I'm going to take the green. And I'm gonna have you re-roll the fish. No. And I'm going so to bad. discard that card. And I'm going to take the rat and a berry. And then everybody gains a berry. And everybody gains a berry. Um, there's no green in there to take. So everybody gains a green. All right, and I'm low on cards, so I'm going to go here and get two. Um, I don't like any of those, so I'm just going to take two from the top. Resources now. All right, now I go here, which is when activated, draw one card. If you do, discard one card from your hand at the end of your turn. I'll take a chance. Hmm. Right, Joanne. I'm going to discard this guy in here. And then when activated, tuck a card from your hand behind this if you do draw a card. Um, I like tuck my I really do tuck. <laughs> oh wait, that's me. And then I get to draw a card. That's mine. Okay. So I am going to build a bird. And I'm gonna build this Mississippi kite. It's going to cost me one egg. My kite's not an egg, it's a kite. And five I'm going to take strong. two grains to make an invertebrate. I don't know how that works, but okay. And a mouse. She's good at ignoring my stupid jokes. <laughs> Years of practice there. Because I'm out of cards. What is this guy at? Four. Oh, that's true. So I'm going to need some resources. So I'm going to go up here. And I need blank. I'm going to take this fish and this rat. And then I'm going to roll. Oh, 
old man. Uh oh. And when that happens for the rest of the game, we're down to four. No, I'll get it real quick. Is this where I talk about the weather? Yeah. Just throwing food on the ground. All right. And nothing I needed. Sweet. Well, I guess I'll take one of these down. And then, this is nothing. When activated, look at the top card. If it's under 75 centimeters, tuck it. 46 centimeters. Just my that dove is not 46 centimeters. My Those things are huge. Cooper's Hawk just ate a dove. You don't even know what a centimeter is. We're in America. Yep. <laughs> when activated, tuck a card from your hand behind this bird. If you do, draw a card. Nah, I'm not looking good. That's another thing I didn't say, but even though we've been doing it, um, any of these brown abilities are um, optional. So if you want to do it, you can. If you don't, you don't have to. And some of them, you know, like hers, we both get to gain a, a barrier grain. So if she didn't want to do that, if she didn't want me to have that stuff, she, she didn't have to. Oh, your turn. Mm -hmm. Now we're going to go here and I'm going to play an egg. Nobody likes those guys up there. Hey, Derek. How's it going? Thanks for stopping. It's your turn. Oh, you need me to... Because I'm not... I forgot what... Yeah, I see? Don't, I don't have a fish. Right. I was going to do earlier. <laughs> Derek said the same thing. These are super easy to find in the wild. Yeah. Jason said that earlier. Like I said, I was super lucky. It, I yeah. just about cried, so. And it wasn't even really in the wild. But I know I'm just leaving <laughs> it at that. Hey, now. Come on. I think we <laughs> won. We were winning when, I, when we came in here. Oh, great. Oh yeah, I wanted to do this guy. So I'm going to go here. I'm going to pay an egg and Look at one grain. of those doves you just ate outside. And I'm going to pay two other ones for my invertebrate. I'm going to play him here. When played, draw two new bonus cards and keep one. So I like this because it gives me more things to forget about. Ooh, grain mm. of those Ooh. Yeah, man. Oh, I just realized you're right there. Okay. Oh, so I could have done that. I think that one's better. Yeah, it's funny. I can hear a dove right outside the window right now. How did the Cubs do today? I didn't see. <clears throat> I haven't had a chance to do anything. My daughter had a track meet. So I ran from work, home, clean up, track meet rush home get this set up right, i'm going to pay two berries and a grain and when played lay one egg on each of the birds with a platform nest oh you cheating i think he has a green one all right we can slide this over you done then for yes. the or you got no you're yeah, not activating anything mm -mm. I think I'm going to get some more cards. Oh, they didn't play today? We had our home opener. We were winning uh, Clevenger through seven innings, 12 strikeouts, one, three walks, I think. Gave. One hit. Yep, gave up one hit. Shut out. And then they. It was a record screwed, for him. Then they screwed it up and yeah, same he thing. doesn't get the win. Anyway, I'm drawing two cards. Same thing happened to Bauer, though. I'm going to keep both of those and draw one if you do discard one at the end of your turn. I should have drew one out of there just to get rid of it. Um, and then tuck a card from your hand if you do draw one. So I'm going to tuck and draw. Get rid of this stupid cowbird. 
And then at the end of my turn, discard a card, get rid of that tiny bird. Oh, bald eagle. Hmm. When played, gain all the fish in the bird feeder. So I can't. There's no fish in the bird feeder. Okay, so I'm just going to go here. Eggs. Eggs. Ooh, you're gonna need to roll again. I know. And it's fairly low numbers, so that's my max innovation. Sure it is. Oh, you got two chances though, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> right off the board. What is it? It's a This worm. wouldn't happen if Ben would have our board game table built. We love you. Because it's recessed. Dice can't fall off the side. Can't shake around the table. Yes. yes. You only get to do that once. So once between turns, so once every turn. Um, when another player's predator action succeeds, gain one resource from the bird feeder. Um, I need to get stuff in my hand. I guess I'll just take this green. I think you're going to kick my butt this time. I got a pretty good little engine You've got a lot of tucks, and I have none. Little engine that could. Um... I'm going to go for eggs because I need eggs for this bonus round because this is the last turn. So I get to make three eggs and I'm going to pay this grain to do an extra egg. So I get four. And this is in platforms. And I have a platform there. It's full. I'm going to fill that one. Oh, you know what? I'm stupid. And I'm going to do these two stars, which kind of for anything. I wasn't paying attention. What? The stars? There was only one on my oh. kite. <laughs> Oh, wait. There's only four in there. So that's bad. Now I'm not so Are you done cheating? I'm not cheating. <laughs> all right. So that's the last turn that round. You were, mm -hmm. Yeah, because you went first. So we collect all of our things. Discard these. Oh, man. The bald eagle's gone. Dang it. Bye-bye. Replenish. I love the predator birds, even though I didn't win. Hey, look. It's the, the front of the wingspan box bird. Scissor tail flycatcher. It should be worth like extra points since it's it got top bill, top billing. <laughs> All right, now um, round three is eggs in platforms. So I have. I wonder if it counts for what? Oh, your wild. Your wild. Yes, okay. it does. So all your wilds count. All right. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Um, it's a max of five. All right, so now we go on to round four, which is the final round, and it is um, bird um, nests, ground nests with an egg. So why doesn't it just say? Oh, because you only get one, one per. per. Bird. And the, if it's eggs in the nests, you get a point for every egg. egg. This one, you just get a point for every bird, and it's for a ground nest, which I think I only have one. But it does have to have an egg in it to get the point. Oh, wait. I didn't do with the rest of this stuff. Which the only thing is... It would have been one of those. It would have been this guy. Hmm? I forgot to go... I, I forgot to do it. I don't... I don't get it. Oh, well. Should have paid attention. Should have paid attention. If I lose by one point, he would have been tucked in there. So I remember. That I will. screwed it up. <laughs> All right, so... Me first. Mm -hmm. Oh, I spilled food everywhere. None of that is yours. I spilled food all over the table. All right. So the last round, we only have five turns. So really try to maximize your turns. I need resources. I'm going to go here. And I'm going to take three resources. I'm going to go ahead and take the rat and... Berry. Berry. And then I'm going to reroll for this one and hope for an invertebrate finding again. There it is. I'm going to take that invertebrate. And then um, I get to look at the top card. If it's under 75, tuck it. 61. 
predators eating more birds and tuck a card from my hand if I do draw a card mm, yes I'll put this guy in I don't know why this robin's eating so many birds but I don't understand I'll take that. it oh, oh you really like that and then I have nothing here so I'm done okay <clears throat> I'm going to take and remove this. Hey, Scott, deck. Mark, Jake, thanks for stopping in. That one to take two of those berries and the fish from the feeder. And then everybody gets a berry. Yeah. There are no green in there. And everybody gets a green. And everybody gets a green. I have so much food right now. Thank you. You're welcome. So that must mean that I only have to take Oh no, I can only play one of these. I need to get some more points. So I'm going to play out here. Pay two eggs. To pay the play the Eastern Screech Owl. Mm. Took one of the owls from Heather. And it is a worm or a rat. I'm going to go ahead and use the rat. And that's that. All right. I am going to go right here and take two cards. If you get all the way out here to the end, you have all of your spots full. You still have an area over here to go. Um, in the top, it's take three resources and um, discard a card to get an extra resource. The next one is four eggs, discard a food to get another egg, and then down here is three cards, discard an egg to get a card. And I'm going to discard a fish to tuck two from the deck. Are you just making stuff up now? Yeah. You don't need to look at him. A dick sizzle. A black belly whistling duck. Alright, so I'm going to try to get some eggs. I still need a couple cards here. You know what? What do we got in here? One. I'm going to go out here, pay one egg, and play this wood stork. When played, draw two new bonus cards and keep one. Oh, wait, I should pay my fish, my rat, and anything else. So I'm going to go to Barry. And I get to draw two more bonus cards and keep one. Great. I'm going to those heavily, but I'll take that one. Might be able to get something out of it. All right. And that is done. It's your turn, Ms. Red. Okay. <clears throat> I'm going to get some more birds out there. I'm going to do this, and we're going to re-roll everything. Bunch of berries, a fish, and a green. And I'm going to take the fish and the green. Oh, of course I'm taking the berries. Everybody gets the berry. You should have took oh, the berry. Oh, shoot. No, I don't want the green. No, too late now. Uh, That's on you. And everybody gets the green. I didn't think about that until you put it there, and I'm like, ah. Uh, okay. Um, I'm going to make some eggs. So I get three. I'm going to discard this green to get four. And I'm just going to play that one. Wait, what is this? Ground with an egg. I have one ground. Might as well put an egg on it, right? I'm just going to put them all over the place. Everybody gets an egg. I'm almost there. You got two turns. You better play some birds. Okay. Holy crap, that Baltimore's worth nine points? Mm hmm. So I'm going to make a bird. Your puffin? 
Cheesy. 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 And then play played Gerald G. Bonus cards. Finally. Then I'm going to go ahead and go while you're doing that. Let's see what we'll do with him there. Oh, wait. And then I'm going to take this as a fish. What are you doing that for? I'm talking two cards. No, no, no. Oh, no, wait, no. wait, wait. No, no, no. I'm sorry. Do that. Shoot. <laughs> mm -mm. Oh, Did I you forgot to mine? do all mine again last time when I made eggs. It's twice now that I forgot to tuck a card underneath there. Nice. Let's see. Can I play this card? No, I can't. So I can't play that card, so I might as well go somewhere where I can tuck him. So I can tuck on the bottom or the top. I'm going to go to the top. So I'm going to go out here. And I'm just going to take these three resources. Just three berries. Almost out of berries on my side. Which doesn't do me any good, but I just wanted to get my engine going here. So, when activated, roll the dice, not the bird feeder. Oh, wait. These were all out. Don't roll them until you need it. So, rat. I get a rat and no, cash it on that cash. card. Um, look at a card from the deck. If it's under 75, it's 46. Um, tuck a card from your hand behind this bird if you do draw a card. Which one doesn't really matter. And then that's it. And that's, I'm done. All right, so the best thing I can do is go here. Can you find my bird? No. No. Nope. Find some of these resources. I don't know my you gave me most of them. I know. See how you are. All right, so I'm going to put a egg on that puppy. I'm going to put it here. An egg on that bird. And then the activations. And you roll dice not in the bird feeder. Rat. Roll dice. Ice. Wait, 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 wait. What? Oh, I gained one from the bird feeder, but there's nothing there. Mm, I don't know exactly when you're supposed to roll those. But did you get it? Yep. So it benefited you more than me, so. All right, so now we're at the end of round four. So we score points for nests with an, ground nests with an egg in them. Those probably should have went in at the end of your turn, so I'm gonna give you the. No, just leave them there. Really? They might have been going, going there. I was gonna look it up, but we'll do it afterwards. It's only a one point difference either way. Um, <coughs> anyway, <coughs> ground nests with an egg. I have one. You said bonus, or wilds count though, right? Mm-hmm. One, two, three, four. It's four. One, two, three. Oh, so I put my egg there again. <laughs> Quit trying to use the eggs as your cubes. All right, so now we get this handy dandy notebook. And I gotta grab a pen. I need to put a <coughs> pen holder over here. All right, so we go into in-game scoring. So we'll start with you. Four points from birds. Mm -hmm. It's 11, 20, 25, 29, 34, 36, 44. Your bonus cards? I have birds with geography terms in their names, so. Atlantic, American. Um, okay, so not geography. Mississippi, Baltimore, so four. So seven, seven points. All right, what's your other one? Birds with colors in their names. You got any? White? And red. Red, so two. So you're three points. So you got ten bonus points total. It's a lot of bonus points. End of round goals. You got zero, three, 
8, 11 eggs left. 7, right? Mm -hmm. Food on cards, 6. Tucked cards, so just the two. Yep. All right, so that gives you 54, 65, 71, 78, 80. And mine, birds. I have a lot of birds, but um, most of mine are ones, twos, and threes. So three, six, eight, 12, 15, 18, 21, 22, 27, 33. Wow. I had three more birds than you and 11 less points. Bonus cards, I got a lot of these. Um, birds that eat berries. Any bird with a berry symbol, that bird may also eat other kinds of food. So one, two, three. That's it. Three points. Three for that one. Birds named after a person. Clark's Grebe. Sprague's Pippet. Cooper's Hawk. So three. Which is two for birds. So that's six. And then birds with platform nests. And I don't think this counts. Oh, birds must have a platform or a star. So yeah, star does work. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven points. So that got 16 bonus points. Those bonus cards helped me out a lot. And then end of round goals. We got four, five is nine, and four is 13. Eggs, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Food, one. And then here's. Where well, you destroy me. I don't know. I thought I did last time, too. And didn't you win? Yeah. But I had three owls out, too. And there were. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve tucked cards. It's big. Yep. All right, so 49, 50, 63, 70, 82. 82 to 80. But we're one and one now. You won the first game. So, uh, pretty close game. Do you have the paper for the other one? Mm hmm. And then the other one was. Yeah, you pretty much killed us in the other one. Um, you beat me by 15 in the first game. So overall, you've got the lead. But <laughs> I'm not counting it. It's one to one. A win's a win. But that is wingspan. Um, let's click back out here. Well worth the wait. Beautiful components. Yeah. Nicely made Excellent. components. Excellent components. Um, the cards are all linen finish. Um, and there ain't no way that the art's are fantastic sleeving these <laughs> but the art's fantastic the boards mm -hmm. are pretty sturdy um even the little the cardboard food pieces are nice although i probably am gonna have my friend print out the 3d printed mm -hmm. little food thingies because they look cool and it, and it matches with the eggs a lot better but um yeah, it's a, it's a really good game. Really good engine builder. It's not too heavy. Um, Real easy to teach. Yeah, I think we can teach, not Link, but, you know, all of our other kids. Um, my oldest daughter played it with us this weekend. But, um, yeah, it's a good game. I really like it. It was so, worth the wait. Um, so if you do have a chance to get it, like I said, I think um, at our FLGS which is Recess Games in North Olmstead. I just want to plug them because they're awesome. But um, they said that their next shipment is going to be coming in late April, so third or fourth week in April. Um, if you want to check for it there, um, they, they're hope, they still don't know how many they're going to get. They're hoping that they get enough in to fill, fulfill all of their um, pre-orders. But... Um, yeah, look for it. It's a fun game. Yep. Um, that's going to do it for this one. Uh, we're going to maybe stream again Wednesday. I got the... Back here. The Thieves of El Dorado expansion. It's 
to the uh, Island of El Dorado, and it's got, oh, I'm holding the name of that one, it's not even there anymore. <laughs> it's got some great components in it, and it's got some cool new ways to play, and I'd like to get a play in of that. And we also, what else did we play? We got Splat Attack. Yeah, Splat Attack, I want to try, try that out. I got that mostly for the, I don't even know if the game's going to be good, but it's got some awesome minis. Got uh, four SpongeBob minis, four Invader Zen minis, um, Hey Arnold, Rugrats, I think, too. Mm -hmm. So I got that mostly for the minis. Um, I'll need Jason to paint those for me. But um, yeah, that's Wingspan. Um, oh, also check out the page for the giveaway we're having right now. You can see where am I at? the Century games right here that we have. Um, our FLGS had an awesome deal on those this weekend so we purchased um an extra set of those and we're just going to give them away it's an awesome game one of our favorite games and one of our favorite uh, games to play with the family because it's mm -hmm. another one that's got some depth to it but it's real easy to teach and and play so um there's a post up there we're going to keep that open till next monday whatever we um end up streaming next monday which may be a preview of something if I get it in here mm -hmm. but um we're gonna give away that stuff after after that stream next Monday night so thanks for stopping in tonight mm -hmm. uh, we'll see you next time if you are out about in the area masterminds are having their mixer night tomorrow night if you hop on by we'll be there we're playing large yeah games. large group games so if anybody lives near Ashland Ohio um, we'll be there tomorrow night playing games all right, see you guys later.